This is Timothy, and I wanted to share with you my DIY battery charger for batteries with a built-in battery management system. This takes an AC input and has both a buck and a boost DC to DC constant current constant voltage controller with an LCD that is suitable for charging a lithium battery from uh, a single 3.7 volt cell all the way up to uh, 90 volts, though I typically never go over 70. So let's go ahead and take a look at the components of this system here so you can build one yourself if you like the way it works. The AC to DC is accomplished by a Hewlett Packard DPS 800 GB. Power supply is shown here. The output of this 12 volt adapter feeds into a boost, which in case the voltage goes up, and a buck adapter in which the voltage goes down. And the output of those two devices are controlled with this boost breaker and the buck breaker right here, so that when I take something like this battery pack to my left and I turn this on you're gonna see the current slowly increase until we reach a constant current constant voltage and it's a little hard to see but that's what those CVCC lights are for and you can control the amperage by simply pressing this up and down however this battery is nearly full so we're not going to be able to get the full output which is limited to, I think, 15, maybe 20 amps. However, at a very high voltage, say 60 volts, that's quite a bit of power, and I typically don't charge uh, over 1,000 watts during testing unless the system is complete, and I'm running it through all the safety equipment. So, let's cover some of the features of this right here. One thing you'll note, you can switch the input of this to also show you the output. So this case right here, 33.5 is the voltage of this buck boost. I'll put them both on screen at the same time if they'll show up for me. Yeah, so you can see the voltage and your amp simultaneously. Now if I go ahead and turn this DC off, or the, turn the charger off, you're going to notice that the battery voltage is actually going to fall a little tiny bit um, because we're not charging it anymore. It's going to fall down to what its resting voltage is. Then if I turn it back on, you're going to see the voltage start to increase as it starts to charge. And this is more significant as the batteries are um, pretty much full at this point. And let's see, a couple other features of this. So this allows you to read the voltage of your charging and of your batteries independently. You can also stick multimeter probes into these breakers here to read them just to check <laughs> polarity or um, anything else you want to do without actually having to uh, unwire anything or cover it. So I'm a big fan of these large breakers for testing purposes. Um, this allows you the, this is set to two different inputs. You can see I have the input here set to the output of the buck, but using this switch right here, I could actually turn it off entirely, or I could switch the input to the input of the boost adapter or rather the output of the power supply. So in this case, it's going to be a 12.26 volts and then I can actually take this down so if I wanted to charge a single battery um, or rather a single cell at like 3.7 volts or maybe two cells at uh, 8 volts I can do that with this whereas I couldn't do it with this guy because you can't you can only take 12 volts up and the reason I have them, to, I have this wired to the input of 33 is that gives me the ability to take it through the 12 volt range. So I could run testing for relays and other devices 
by uh, making the voltage go all the way up to 14.6, which is alternator charging, and all the way down to uh, 10 volts, which is going to be your low volt disconnect for pretty much any device. Um, typically, you should never let your battery get that low, in my opinion. So that's the reason for this input and output and uh, the screens here. This is the smaller aluminum Harbor Freight case that it comes in. And it just, everything does uh, fit inside of there when you close it up, including the AC power cable. So it does, it is a nice little compact design here. I do also have a more complicated version that monitors temperature and will shut uh, things down. But this is already a six minute long video and this is relatively uh, simple. <laughs> uh, while I've already made a six minute long video, I may as well expand out and show a little bit more of what I'm doing here. All of this is actually powered by this pure sine wave inverter because I'm actually doing battery testing right now on these packs. So I've been able to basically we have these 8S packs feeding into this breaker, into a step down, into this, and then I'm monitoring the output to see what the actual usable kilowatt hours of this pack are going to be through this setup. And, and the output of this actually go, goes ahead and feeds this, which feeds the first set of batteries. So I'm able just to run these through a loop and charge them up and down without wasting too much electricity. It's not 100% efficient. Uh, or even close to that, but it allows me to do some nice testing here.